Oh, here you go. Here. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I got to be old enough to walk, you know, like to school and stuff on my own, if I, if I saw a stray, I'd scoop him up and bring him home. And even if I wasn't allowed to keep him in the house, my mom used to let me, like, keep him in the yard. And that's how I guess I started with the old little plate of food and little plate of water and you live outside kind of thing, a.k.a. feeding the cat. <laughs> It's just good to know that there's a lot of uh, good souls out there keeping an eye over them, too. One particular cat, my cat, the honey, and I say my cat because she's about 14 years old. I have her brother in the house. We got them to, I got them spayed together as kittens, but at the time I could only take one in. I had another boarder, and uh, she is my main focus of health and food and while this mob kind of muscled in because they got hip to the fact that I was feeding the honey twice a day and kind of muscled in on it. Growing up in an urban environment I find myself feeding not just cats but a lot of uh, creatures around me. I mean I'm one to save the bread from a restaurant and throw it out to the birds. I mean a half-eaten spaghetti especially in the winter. It's, it's a meal for someone, and that's what gets to you about them. It's that they're so, you know, they're helpless. I mean, I had hoped after there were kittens that they would grow up and go on their own and start their own little cat lives somewhere, but they've just become so used to me feeding my cat the honey, which was the main focus of, of the feeding, that they just become completely and utterly dependent on me, and um, they sit on my roof, they sit in my windowsill. They just think I'm their, I'm their cat. And these cats are my cats, whether or not I choose at this point. They, um, they follow me in the basement. One of them got locked in there for a few hours until my neighbor heard a meowing. They, when, I, um, when I'm crossing the street, across the boulevard to get to my house, they'll all start coming out like from under the cars and stuff. And, and if all I'm doing is giving, giving them a little bit of food, a little bit of water, showing them a little bit of kindness to keep them alive, that's what I'll do.